everybody welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own mixed fuel for weed eaters chainsaws leaf blowers whatever um now i mix my fuel to 50 to 1 and this is the oil i use i use the still uh two stroke it's made by castor also it's a good brand um now a question i get asked fre frequently is can i run my older lawn boy mower that says 32 to 1 on this 50 to 1 and the answer to that is yes, because the oil that was produced when that was made was, wasn't was as good as this here. So, yeah, you can run any older equipment that has like a higher oil thing, mixture, ratio, on 50 to 1. It'll work perfectly. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do this. But first, um, this is, uh, since, I'm, you, since I mix my fuel to 50 to 1, and I use a small jerry can, that's five liters. I need five liters of fuel to 100 milliliters, which is this amount of oil, uh, in here. So a trick my dad does is he writes on the jerry can, like, the ratio, because it's, hard, it's sometimes difficult to remember how much you need. So this way you always remember and you never forget. Um, also, I forgot to mention, this oil uh, has stabilizer in it, but if yours doesn't, you can always add a bit of that this is the one i use it's uh stp i like it you can use whatever brand you want just this is the one i get and it has a cool blue color so yeah all right so now we're going to mix our two stroke fuel so i'm not going to add any of this because as i already mentioned the oil i use has stabilizer in it so we're not going to need this so the first step to doing this is you're going to want to take out the filler spout on this can it's easy because it's kind of like it's not the emissions ones that everyone gets that everyone else gets but so you just loosen this you pull this out and i have a rag um right here to set it on because i don't want any dirt to get on this because that'll contaminate our fuel system and the leaf blower and stuff so once you remove the filler spout you can take your oil and open it up like this then you want to get the seal off the top you can just punch it in with your thumb or you can peel it off and then you can take your oil and pour it in here just like this and you might want to let it sit here for a few minutes to make sure that you get all the oil out and I guess you can actually rinse out the bottle with the stabilizer to make sure that you get everything out so now I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna do this take it out and pour some of this stabilizer in here you don't need much and then put the lid on and then shake it And then we're going to go ahead and pour this back into the can. And there we go. Now the next step is we're going to shake this up. Right, now we're going to put the filler spout back in and put the cap on. Make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want gas to go everywhere when you shake it. Now I'll just go like this for a bit and then you're ready to use it. Oh, and also when you write on, when you write the thing on the gas can, make sure to clean it the spot really well or else the sharpie won't stick to the plastic alrighty guys so that was how to make your own two-stroke fuel thank you for watching and i'll leave links in the description to a ratio chart chart that you can use and i'll leave links to a few different oils um that you can choose from i'll leave like a premium one um a medial a medium one and like a less expensive one but uh yeah thank you so much for watching see you next time remember to follow me on instagram at will small engines underscore one thank you <laughs>